The New to Enteral Feeding video series is presented by Cardinal Health to help patients, families, and caregivers better understand enteral feeding. This is the second video in the series and will provide an overview of some short-term enteral feeding topics. Short-term enteral feeding is often reserved for individuals requiring tube feeding for up to several weeks. With short-term enteral feeding, a tube is inserted through the nose or mouth, ending in the stomach or small bowel to deliver liquid nutrition. There are several reasons why someone may need short-term enteral feeding. Occasionally, a person cannot eat food by mouth because of an inability to swallow, an illness, a lack of appetite, or some type of surgery or medical condition that interferes with eating. Patients who receive short-term tube feeding may only require enteral nutrition for a few days or weeks, while other patients may need to transition to long-term enteral feeding, which is discussed in the third video of this series. Now let's review some of the feeding tubes that support short-term enteral feeding. A nasogastric tube, or NG tube for short, is a commonly used short-term feeding tube. NG tubes are placed through the nose or mouth and are designed to deliver nutrition to the stomach. An NG tube is often the first type of tube a person may receive if it is determined that they need enteral nutrition and it can be placed or removed without surgery. Another type of short-term feeding tube is a nasojejunal tube or NJ tube. These tubes are placed just like an NG tube, but they deliver nutrition to the small intestine, which is just beyond the stomach. NJ tubes are designed for those individuals needing enteral nutrition who are not able to either tolerate feedings into the stomach or have a medical condition that prevents the safe delivery of enteral nutrition into the stomach. These tubes may also be placed and removed without surgery. Patients of any age may need short-term enteral feeding from neonatal and pediatric to late adulthood. Short-term enteral feeding may be needed for a neonate if they lack the ability to suck and swallow normally. Both neonatal and pediatric feedings require an enteral feeding system, which includes a neonatal or pediatric feeding tube, an extension set or feeding set, and an enteral delivery device, like a syringe or feeding pump. Although it's a common and generally safe procedure, some patients, regardless of age, may experience anxiety regarding having an NG or NJ tube initially placed. It can be helpful to understand the different parts of an NG or NJ tube. The distal feeding tip is the part of the tube that enters through the nose, ends in the stomach or small intestine, and delivers enteral fluid into the body. The feeding port connector connects the enteral access tube to a source, like a syringe or feeding pump, to deliver enteral fluids. When a patient has an NG or NJ tube placed for the first time, it should be done by a trained healthcare provider. It may feel a little odd or uncomfortable having an NG or NJ tube placed for the first time. As the tube is being passed through your nose and down your throat, you may feel a slight tickle toward the back of your mouth, which may cause you to gag or cough. This is normal. Once the tube is pushed past the back of your throat, it should continue to follow your gastrointestinal tract through your esophagus and into your stomach or small intestine, depending on which type of tube was clinically recommended. Once the tube is placed, a special adhesive tape or securement device may be used to prevent the feeding tube from moving or falling out. We hope this basic knowledge of short-term enteral feeding therapy was helpful. To learn more about enteral feeding, including information about general topics, long-term feeding, and delivery devices, check out our other videos in the new to enteral feeding series.